Hi guys, and welcome to Nameless, the one thing you must recall. So, Yunho's getting more and more creepy as things go along, and it's really concerning me, and I think I might be doing things correctly, but I also think I might not be, and I don't actually know. So, without further ado, let's continue. Obsession. Oh boy. I couldn't sit still that day. I was like this after I got a call from the delivery man in the morning, so I just paced around the living room all day unable to sit down. It's here! Is this your package? Your name is... Ari, it's me, thank you! Wow, it's big, it's a bit wet, but it's just the box, so I hope it's okay. I quickly opened the box. My hands almost slipped because I was so excited. Ah... When I finally opened the box, I couldn't help but exclaim. I couldn't bear to touch it, so I just looked at it, but it still made my heart full. In the middle of the box was a lovely boy. He had tiny hands and feet and looked a bit shy. I couldn't help but grin ear to ear at seeing such an adorable doll, but I was bothered that Yunho was wrapped in a dirty cloth. How harsh, I mumbled while looking at the cloth. I was a bit worried from the start when the pictures on the auction site were a bit clumsy and careless, but as expected, the packaging was horrible too. How could she package him like this? What if it gets damaged on the way? Oh my god, look at the dust in the box. How long was he in it? As I carefully took Yunho out, I found heaps of dust in the box. As I held him up, as I held him up, the cloud of dust spread around. <coughs> I waved my arms to get rid of the hovering dust and quickly wiped my hands on my clothes. After I cleaned my hands, I stroked the tangled hair. Hi, I excitedly said my first hello. Yunho's small body was held in my arms. I almost sensed sadness from him, the way he was wrapped in a dirty cloth. Is he nervous since he was sold away? I stroked his hair more so he wouldn't feel nervous. Nice to meet you, Yunho. I held Yunho tight amidst all the dust in the air. My arms wrapped his tiny body. I hope he feels my sincerity. I hope he considers my home his. Yunho, I'll create a warm home for you. I thought I felt warmth from his body in my arms. Master, master, wake up, master. Mm. Oh, it's raining. That's why it's so dark in here. Master. I squinted. Uh, uh! As soon as I opened my eyes, Yunho's face filled my sight. I ended up screaming at how close his face was to mine. Yunho abruptly backed away. Were, were you scared? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Yunho apologized. Ugh, you scared me. I wanted to wake you up in a different way today. I usually shake you. It gets boring to be woken up the same way all the time. <laughs> My heart was still beating fast, but Yunho grinned innocently. Still, thanks to that smile, I relaxed again. Waking me up in a different way. He can be quite the oddball sometimes. Uh, oh my gosh. Six in the morning? Six thirty in the fucking morning. Master, I'm already awake. I cooked fried eggs. Uh, Master, you're still sleeping, right? If you see this, text me back. If you don't text me in three minutes, I'll go wake you up. Dear Lord. So many texts again, I said while checking my smartphone as usual. I checked the time and the last text came about an hour before. He wasn't in my room for the past hour, was he? Nah, no way. Thanks for waking me up. It's nothing. I was happy to look at your face for a long time. Oh, boy. Creep factor. Creep factor all the way up in super fucking overdrive. Uh, let's move on. Yunho grinned and said, I tried to think what I looked like when I'm sleeping. And when my face was about to get red at how hideous I look right now, the door opened. Alright, alright, I'm going in now. Hey, Yunho, what's taking you so long to wake her up? The commander is nagging me because of you. Huh? She's awake? Hey, Red. Well, since Yunho didn't come out for, so, for a long time, I thought you kicked him in your sleep. As I prepared to throw a huge pillow at Red, he stopped talking. He never knows how to talk nicely, does he? I grinned at Red, trying to avoid my attack. I become one with the bed in my elegant sleep. What are you talking about? Yes, of, of course, Red answered while sweating. Ahem, <clears throat> he should have behaved from the start. 
Seeing a spicker from the side, Yunho hurriedly pointed at the clock. Uh, Master, hurry up! We're really going to be late! I looked at the clock. What? It's 8.20! I jumped up from my bed. Hold on a minute! If you don't text me in three minutes, I'll go wake you up. Eight hours. Eight o'clock. And it's 8.20. He's been in my room for an hour and a half. Almost. Staring at me while I sleep. That's fucking concerning. That's really fucking concerning. Ah, oh, you're right. Okay, I'll be out. Yunho and Red left, and I packed everything in a hurry. For today, textbooks, pencil case... Huh? Where did I put my jacket? I fervently looked for my jacket, but it wasn't anywhere. Let's just go out first. I opened the door and went out. When I went to the living room, the boys were almost finished at with their breakfast. Oh, the thunderclap is making me sick. I want to rest at home on a day like this. Should I not go to work? A teacher who doesn't go to work because it's raining. It is so like you, Yuri. You have a healthy work ethic. Thanks. It was not a compliment. The weather report says the rain will stop in the afternoon, but I should take an umbrella just in case. Afternoon when? I'm doomed. I was going to play soccer with my friends during lunch today. Red slouched his shoulders. Master, have this. Everyone was worrying about the weather, but Yunho didn't seem to care. Yunho put a rabbit-shaped fried egg on a, on a toast and gave it to me. After giving me a plate, Yunho sat next to me and pulled a chair right up beside me. You are fucking creepy, sir. You are no longer cute. You are no longer cute. I feel he's a bit too close. The thanks. <laughs> huh? I woke up late, so the food is supposed to be cold, but the toast is still hot. Did you heat it up? The fried egg was hot as if it had been done just now. Yeah, I heated it in the microwave. If you don't like it, I can make you a new one. No, thanks for caring. It looks so good. Here, I bought- I brought you water. Oh, it might get on your clothes. Should I get some napkins? Uh, every time he talked, he leaned closer. This is a bit uncomfortable. Uh, Master, you look pretty even when you eat. Okay! You can stop any time now, please! This isn't... No! Yeah, you know. I put my toast back on the plate. Oh, are you thirsty? Here, I got you water. I see the chick chirping again. It does warm up my heart, but why don't we watch it? She'll be pierced if you look at her like that. Yeah, if you keep on chirping beside her, she can't eat comfortably, Yellow. Did I chirp? To be more exact, you were leaning so close that she could barely eat and you kept on talking. Yunho was surprised at what everyone pointed out. Huh? Ah, uh, I'm sorry, Master. I didn't know you'd be uncomfortable. Oh, well... Yunho backed out of it. He was still close, but it was much better. I did feel uncomfortable, so I didn't disagree with Lance. I may be worrying too much, but if you are too close to her, people might take it the wrong way. Especially at the academy. You know, I'm worried about what people say about you. Of course, I did not listen on purpose. And it is none of my business. Lance pointed out what Yunho did and warned him. What Lance said was all true. Yunho was always by my side these days, so most girls stopped approaching him. They were not going to talk good things about him after he rejected them. It's a good point. So my honey shouldn't baby him too much, too. For both of your sakes. Yuri, that was a bit harsh. Yunho looked at Yuri a bit hurt, and he looked upset at Lance, too. Lance, too. I don't care about my reputation as long as Master's happy, so I'm fine. If Master likes me, then everything is okay. Of course, you guys won't understand. You still think I'm just being a baby to Master. What? Oh! That's more fierce than usual! But I know you are all jealous. I understand you're all jealous that Master likes me the most, but... <sighs> Tay, who was listening silently, suddenly sighed. Yunho stopped talking and looked at Tay. Suddenly, the table got quiet. Uh, what's with everyone today? Red looked around the table. No one seemed to want to settle the situation. Everyone just looks at Yunho silently. But Yunho didn't stop being defensive. Ugh. Fuck. Master, do I make you uncomfortable? 
In the end, Yunho grabbed my arm and asked. I looked into Yunho's eyes. Every morning I get several texts and if I don't wake up, he comes to wake me. And every morning I get unnecessarily well-prepared breakfast plates. We always eat together at the academy and during every recess, he comes and sits beside me. Really, throughout the whole day, we're always together. I know Yunho's been behaving more like a bay these days. A, a bay? I don't know what you mean by that, but okay. But I also know that that is the only way for a child to show affection, so I'm hesitant to blame Yunho for it. I've always received things from Yunho. I couldn't do anything, it just clutched my cluttered head. The boys looked worried, noticing my troubles. This is a bit weird. Ugh, I hate awkwardness. Now let's talk about something else. Red freshened up the atmosphere. Um, oh right! Red clapped and said. Isn't it the festival soon? Yeah, it is. I'm going to act in a play this festival. A play? Yes, and I'm playing no other than the Warrior of Justice. The drama club came to me themselves to cast me. Red got excited and started talking about the drama club. A justice warrior? Really? Yeah, the club president likes action hero stories. There are a lot of weird people in this world. He told me it had to be me. A warrior of justice. It was the exact concept Red was released with. Good, I'm happy you met someone who gets you. Red laughed happily. And Lance, what are you doing? You're in the student government. Zoe is in the government too since she's the class president. She's going to be conducted she's going to be conducting the festival, so will Lance be doing that too? Zoe's a festival conductor. Are you one too? I looked at Lance and he nodded. All that girl did during the meeting was look at her mirror. <laughs> I could picture what Zoe did, so I laughed sheepishly. Zoe would never actually participate in the meeting. I'll be excused first. Lance stood up first from the table. Lance, you take the bus. Why don't you go with Yunho? I'm fine. The bus will get hectic if I go with Yunho. Lance cut Tay's words and refused. Of course, Lance was not wrong. The bus was already a war zone with just Lance in it. And if Yunho goes with him, the bus may explode. Tay understood and nodded. <clears throat> After Yunho suggested we take the bus, when we went to the amusement park, I've been taking the bus. It's a bit uncomfortable, but I felt better than when I took the limo. It's so comfortable not having to fight through a crowd every morning. And thanks to that, people aren't misunderstanding as much. It's not like that these days. People don't gather around me as much. Thanks to that, I can go to the classroom with Master. <laughs> Ugh. But it'll take longer for Master to get ready, so Lance, you go ahead first. Hmm? Oh, I'm almost ready. I just need my jacket. I looked around for my jacket. I didn't find it in my room earlier, and it's not in the kitchen either. I stood up to look for it, but Yunho pulled at my clothes. No, Master, you have to check the timetable and your bag one more time. Oh, and your shoelaces are untied. You'll let me tie it for you, right? Yunho rattled on. He'll tie my shoelaces? Lance, go ahead. You're busy. Yunho smiled at Lance. Lance let out a small sigh. I'll go ahead first. Oh, really? He said so. Lance looked towards my side and left the kitchen first. It would have been nice to go together. I'm getting up too. Since the chick stole you, I have to go to school every day with noisy red and annoying Ted. I'll get the car ready, so hurry up. If you're even a bit late, I'm just going to head off. How nice, Yuri. I think you're making me blush. Oh, shut up. Gotcha. He was smiling, but Tay didn't seem so pleased either. Commander, I'm ready! Red wore his jacket and Tay took off his apron. Yuri put on his clo put on his shoes at the front door and looked at me. Watch the rain when you're heading back. You and the chick aren't exactly the healthy type. Is the music class not today? Then I'll see you at home, honey. Yuri left the house soon after that. Tay and Red followed Yuri. Everyone took an umbrella. But... There's only one umbrella left. Tay looked at the umbrella and turned to turned around to face me. Oh, what should we do? It was just Yunho and me left. I can share an umbrella with Master, don't worry. That's exactly what's making him worry. Oh, well I guess that will do. Tay silently looked at us. The girls will give us looks, but it will be better than one of us getting caught in the rain. Tay's just looking so fucking worried and I'm just like, yeah, I'm along with you. I am totally worried too, personally, like super fucking worried. I can agree with this. I was nodding when Red stepped up. Sharing an umbrella? You two aren't kids anymore, and the umbrella's small. Never mind. Here, take this. I can walk in the rain. Tay handed me the umbrella. Uh. Oh, did he stop him? 
Yunho smacked away Tay's umbrella. Oh, fuck. I told you, I can share one with Master. Yunho? As Tay looked a bit stumped, Yunho squinted. I was surprised to see Yunho overreact like that. You're being jealous of me sharing an umbrella with Master, aren't you, Tay? Don't take it the wrong way. Tay sighed. If Yunho doesn't want to, all right, but call me if you need one. They said it'll stop, but it's going to rain a lot before it does, Tay told me. But Yunho still looked unhappy with him. I think Yunho is really overreacting. Yunho noticed my face falling as he and he tried to coax me with his downcast voice. I can share an umbrella with you, can't I? I'll make sure you don't get wet. Okay, all right. As soon as I gave in, Yunho immediately loosened his serious face. <laughs> Something's definitely not right here. Don't you think so, Commander? Well, Tay made an inscrutable face and left the house. After Tay and Red left, I took the umbrella and came out too. The umbrella's small. Are you sure about this? I'll hold the umbrella. Give it to me. The road was completely drowned in water. I carefully walk under the umbrella with Yunho. Will the rain really stop in the afternoon? I know. I hope it does stop before dinner. I agreed with Yunho. The bus on a rainy day is such a drag. The wet umbrellas brush our clothes and the floor's slippery. It's already raining, so there's nothing we can do, but I hope it stops when we're coming back. Master, your clothes will get wet. Your shoulder is already pretty wet. I'm fine, so come in more. Oh, I'm fine. Yunho leaned the umbrella to my side and came in closer to me. The space under the umbrella was tight as it is, but now it was too tight. This is too close. Master. Hmm? Don't worry, Master. Hmm? What? The bus? The rain? Everything. Okay, thanks. I couldn't really understand what he said, but I nodded. Nowadays, nothing worries me more than you know. Ever since I felt him change bit by bit, I couldn't stop worrying. Today, I see that other kids have noticed something weird, too. Seeing my face fall, Yunho looked serious, too. Oh. He's a yandere! No! <laughs> Fuck. He's a yandere. He's a fucking yandere. No! Master, you don't have to worry. Master, all you have to do is look at me. At that moment, the bus came and arrived at the bus station. I couldn't hear the last thing Yunho said because of the bus. Oh, the bus is here. Run, Yunho! We folded the umbrella and ran towards the bus. We'll really be late if we don't catch this bus! Oh, fuck. No, I'm going to get pushed in front of a bus and I'm going to die. Of course it's fun to be with everyone else, but then Master doesn't look at just me. I get pushed to the side. I don't like that. Um, uh, oh no. Yinho, did you just get here? Oh my, your shoulder's wet. Didn't you have an umbrella? Mas, I mean, sit here. Yunho pulled out my chair for me. The girls who were worrying about him stared at me. They didn't look so happy. Guess what lunch I brought today? Um, Yunho. Oh. Oh, no. No. I've been cooking a lot, so I found a lot of fun recipes. Hey, don't talk to him. He won't respond anyways, the girls whisper. I feel so uncomfortable. Did Yunho not hear those girls just now? Yunho was still clinging by my side as if nothing happened, after seeing that the girls didn't look so happy. Yunho, um, the others said hi. Huh? Oh, hi. Yunho raised his head and quickly said hello, and turned right back to me. The girls' expressions hardened and they went back to their seats. After they went back, they took a glimpse our way and talked among themselves. I remember Lance saying people weren't saying nice things about Yunho and I felt uneasy. I looked at Yunho with worry. You know, the thing I was talking about in the bus, I saw a cooking show yesterday and apparently if you use the outside rings of an onion, you can make a pretty fried egg. Yunho. Yes? Are you alright? Is he okay with treating the girls who were his friends like that? Huh? What's wrong? Yunho tilted his head. Does he really not know? He looked so innocent. I felt like I had to tell him something. But I shouldn't t talk now since all the other kids are staring at us. I ended up not saying anything, aware of all the looks. Even during class, Yunho sat by me and constantly looked at me. 
No, it wasn't just looking. He didn't care about the classes at all and just stared at me. The teacher called on him eventually, but Yunho didn't answer. I ended up apologizing and somehow made it slide, but I couldn't forget the suddenly cold atmosphere. The boring classes are all over. I look by my side, but Yunho isn't there. He must have gone to the bathroom. I want to go home and rest. All the teachers talked about the exams, so I had to focus today. Am I more exhausted because of that? I massage my stiff shoulders. I can really feel that the exams are coming now. Hey, friend. Oh, Zoe. Zoe sat at Yunho's empty seat and called me. Shinbi followed and sat on the desk. Although we're in the same class, I feel like I haven't seen her in a while. It's probably because Yunho never leaves my side. These days, from the moment I enter class and leave, he's always beside me. Finally, we're able to have a conversation. That chick. Is he in the bathroom? Anyways, what happened? Hmm? The chick. I know he likes you a lot, but today he was a bit weird. He clung on to you as if he couldn't bear a second away from you. I couldn't even talk to you during the recess because he was right by your side. It's like you're the chick's mom. I laughed awkwardly at Shinbi's sharp words. Oh, that's... If it goes on like this, you'll be in trouble. The both of you will. All the girls in the class will hate you, and the chick's reputation will hit rock bottom. You still have to keep your basic manners. So he worried and said... I was worried about the same thing, so I couldn't say anything. I don't want those things to happen. There really is a problem with how Yunho treats everyone except me. I don't want Yunho... I don't want people to hate me, but I'm more worried for Yunho. I really don't want him to build a wall around himself. <sighs> how should I explain this to Yunho? Well, I don't think it'll be any use even if I explain it to him. Conversations with Yunho don't go so well these days. I feel like he's focused on something else all the time. Did something happen? Don't you have a guess? I guess. I'm not sure, but his attitude changed drastically at some point. It's probably when he looked at the fairy tale book and I told him about the amusement park. And Yunho's attitude really changed when we went to the amusement park together. He always followed me, but ever since that day he seemed to care about me more. Nothing strange happened except that he got sick after riding the roller coaster. I think the chick is obsessing on you too much. That's not good. I think there's something bothering him. Yeah? Well, that or he might not even realize it's- it's- That- well, that or he might not even realize he's obsessing on you. I don't quite understand Shidby's words. Well, I don't know what it is, but watch out! I don't want you to be harmed from what Yunho does. Okay, but he's not a bad person. I know that, but if he ends up harming you, no matter how cute he is, it's not good. I was thankful at what Zoe said, but I still felt troubled. I wasn't the only one thinking Yunho was weird. Besides, Soe and Shinbi are worrying about me and not Yunho. I can't just blindly take Yunho's side. I decided to be a bit more honest. Actually, I think Yunho doesn't like to mix with other people these days. Hmm? I don't know why, but I don't think it's good. Isn't there a way? I want Yunho to hang out with other people like he used to. Then maybe it might be better to keep some distance for a while. You think? Oh, I have a good idea! So his eyes sparkled. It's the exam soon, so I thought we could go to Banjul and study together, but Yunho has cleaning duties today, so he has to stay in the classroom. Hmm. I think you and the chick need to be apart from each other for a while. You too. The chick's obsessing more because you baby him so much. So he suggested that we can study together without Yunho. It doesn't sound like a bad idea. I nodded. Yeah. Okay, alright. I may have babied him too much as Zoe said. He is cute, but he's not really a little child. I might have been fooling myself. Good! Then since I gave you the idea, you have to do something for me too, no? What are you up to now? Convince the ice prince for me! I know he's a pain, but he's smart! Ask him to be in the study group, please! Me? Lance? I don't think he'll agree. I turned around to see Lance. As usual, he exuded coldness. Don't worry, friend. If we use you as bait, I mean, if you ask, the prince will come. I have no idea why she's so sure about that. I awkwardly turned around and faced Lance. Lance looked up and stared at me. I could hear Zoe whispering, telling me to approach him and ask him to join. All right, I'm going. Hey, Lance. Look. Um, that... How about it? Lance's face turned cold. Is he going to say no? Then Lance sighed. Sometimes I wonder what you think about, and now's one of those times. Oh, so, sorry, I got nervous, so I didn't say it properly. If you are nervous, I don't have a good feeling about what you were about to say. 
It's not something that has to do with the perverted music teacher, is it? Oh, it's nothing like that. Um, exams are coming up soon, so everyone's going to Van Jewel to study. I was wondering if you'd like to go. Who's going? Lance asked. Is is he thinking about going? Huh? Me, you, Zoe, Shinbi. They will study, all right. I refuse. You alone might be fine, but teaching the other girls will be uncomfortable. Well, wait, Lance, don't be so cold and help us. Ignoring my plea, Lance left the classroom. Ugh, I knew this would happen. I quickly turned around and sat on my seat. Zoe frowned and looked at me. She heard everything, so I won't have to tell her. She w It was at that moment. Hey. I heard a voice from behind Zoe and Shinbi. Huh? Ugh. No. <laughs> Would it be okay if I join? I saw Yunho peeping besides Shinbi. When did he come back? He must have heard everything we said. The study, I... I don't know if I'll be any help, but wouldn't it be better to have one more person? Yun Ho. But Chick, look at the blackboard. Shinbi pointed at the blackboard. Today's cleaning duty, Yun Ho, was written on the corner. Yun Ho's face hardened. Ugh, he really looks like a doll now. But not a cute one. Sorry, Yun Ho. I would have waited, but since I was Soe and Shinbi too, I'll have to go. I remember what Soe and Shinbi pointed out earlier. So I was a bit more adamant about refusing. It didn't feel good, but I thought it best for Yunho, so I didn't give in. Yunho lowered his head. Yes, this might be a good chance. If it will be better for Yunho to spend more time, it will be better for Yunho to spend some time by himself. What are you doing? Hurry up! Bandrel is packed these days. They dare to eye my flowers. We have to hurry if we want to see Zion and Tay. <coughs> I mean, study. Yeah, all right. I'm going. Yunho, sorry. Let's go together next time. Oh, he's mad, he's mad, he's mad. Oh god, he's mad. Yunho still didn't say anything. That bothered me, so I thought of turning back, but I didn't. Yunho will be fine. Probably. Welcome! Oh, long time no see! Hey, Zion, we're here! Do you have seats? Yep, she's definitely a regular here. So we naturally ask Zion if there are any seats. Yes, I'll lead you to your usual seat. Follow me. Is it because of the weather? My back hurts. Ah, I think I hear my knees cracking. <laughs> Young girls shouldn't say things like that. Oh, Mr. Hobbin. Uh, excuse me. The manager smiled and gave us the menu. His slightly flat hair from the damp weather gave him a different air. He really is hot. Hi, Mr. Hobbin. Are you taking orders today? Yeah, I heard you came, so I dropped by. I was upset you didn't visit for a while. What's up today? Zoe must really come here often. I don't know since when, but they treated each other as friends. Oh, I was just busy these days. We came to look at some eye candy and study today. Oh, I see. Exams already. It's been a while since I graduated, so I forgot. I never have to take exams now. A life without exams. I'm so jealous. <laughs> you can enjoy exams if you're young. Don't be so down and cheer up. I'll bring out a cake for you guys today. On the house. Really? Yay! Oh, Mr. Hobbin, you can't just... We're going to lose business like this. We're not going to go bankrupt because of one cake, so don't worry. And this lady here, she's a regular. Don't you know we do business with affection in this country? What affect? That affection you talk about. I wish you'd show it to the workers, too. Oh, Tay! Behind Mr. Hobbin, Tay came holding a plate. The uniform he had on fit his body perfectly. <laughs> yes. My eyes were blinded by the sight of Mr. Hobb and Zeon and Zay st and, and Zay? Jesus. And Tay standing together. My heart girl- I heard girls gasping from all over the cafe. Master Nagging is here again. Oh. Mr. Nagging is here again. Then I'll be off. Enjoy your time here. The kitchen's looking for you, Zeon. Why don't you leave this table to me? Really? Then thanks, Tay. Bye, you guys. Mr. Hobbin, wait, wait for me. <laughs> he said not to run in the cafe, and yet he's the one who's running. Now, missus, would you like to order? Tay! Zoe's heart was melting at what Tay said. Tay sometimes sounds exactly like Yuri. Is it because they share a room? Hmm, since it's raining today, I'll have a warm cup of tea. At seeing me be conscious of others and speak politely, Tay laughed with his eyes. I flinched a bit, but Zoe was again bewitched. After taking our orders, Tay disappeared behind the counter. Ah! My smartphone was constantly ringing. 
I glanced at it and saw multiple texts coming all at once. I don't have to look at it to know it's Yunho. I purposely ignore the phone ringing in my pocket. Ugh, now let's... I have to say this, but let's take out our textbooks. It really is amazing that Zoe just said that. I took out my textbook just like the others did. Shinbi, your textbook is completely clean. Yeah, it's better to sell it like this. Are you making money already? Amazing, Shinbi. Now I know what a textbook is to Shinbi. We opened our books, but we struggled from the first page. So we focused hard, unlike her usual self. At seeing that, I studied hard too. We studied while sipping our drinks, and an hour flew by fast. Oh, wait here. Where are you going? Solve this! You're the best among us three! All right, I'll solve it after I come back from the bathroom. I went to the bathroom, and I took up my phone that hasn't been ringing for some time. I'll just check the texts. I looked at the texts. Um... Is studying going well? Master, I miss you. When will you be finished? Oh boy. Sure enough, all the texts were from Yunho. I could almost hear his voice with every text. I'm feeling weak again. Ugh, should I call him? He seems to be really lonely. Did I leave him alone too suddenly? But I soon shook my head. The more I baby him, the worse it is for Yunho. It's not good for him to depend on me so much. I thought for a moment and put my phone back into my pocket. But even after I went back, I couldn't stop thinking about Yunho. Should I just call him? I unconsciously mumbled while going back to my seat. Yunho? I caught eyes with the manager who was holding onto plates and pots. Oh, Mr. Hobbin. Did you just say Yunho? Huh? Oh, yes. Does he know Yunho? I bit bewildered, I nodded. Are you talking about that boy who looks like a little chick? Mr. Hobbin was friendly to me too. Oh yes, I am, but how do you know Yunho? I was surprised that Mr. Hobbin, whom I haven't really talked with, knew Yunho. How does he know him? Now come to think of it, Yunho often brought carrot cakes. Is it the carrot cake? He worked part-time in our cafe until a few days ago. What? Part-time? I was about to say if it was the carrot cakes, but I stopped. Tay introduced him, so I expected it, but you guys all know each other. Oh, yes. I'm... I'm good friends with Yunho. I see. You might have seen him if you came when he was working. Yunho worked here? Yeah, you didn't know? He was very smart and a good worker. He was a big help. Oh, right. Tay didn't tell you? He's the one who brought him. Then... I remember Yunho used to come home late with Tay. He wasn't hanging out at the cafe. He was working? Did he work to bu buy carrot cakes? I remembered the carrot cake he brought me every night and asked. No, I think he said he needed money to buy tickets. I don't know if he got them with the money he made, though. Tickets? I remembered Yunho holding out two tickets at the amusement park. Sure enough, I thought the tickets were weird. They must have been pretty expensive. Yuri would never have just given the money to Yunho. Mr. Hobbin, there's a call. They said it's urgent and asked you to call right back. Tay came out from the counter and talked to the manager. He hurried towards us and handed Mr. Hobbin a note with the number. Oh, really? I'll just wait this table and call back. Then excuse me. Have fun, miss. Mr. Hobbin left with his plates. What did you talk about with Mr. Hobbin? After he left, Tay approached me and asked. All the other tables disappeared from my sight. Tay? Yes? Is it true that Yunho worked here? As I asked, Tay looked guilty. Oh, I was wondering what you two were talking about. You knew from the beginning, didn't you? He says you introduced him? I was a bit upset and asked him. When I was wondering about the carrot cakes and the tickets, Tay always gave me an odd smile. He knew the answers, but didn't tell me. I'm sorry that I didn't tell you. But Yunho pleaded. He wanted to surprise you. He almost begged, so I told him I'd keep it a secret. I'm not interrogating, I'm just upset that I didn't know. I can't believe Yunho worked here and kept it a secret. I never expected it. It bothered me that he worked late just for me. I just troubled him. Did he want to go to the amusement park with me that badly? I felt sorry that I didn't realize that, and we didn't even have fun at the park. After working that hard, all we enjoyed was the merry-go-round. I tilted my head. Although I felt sorry, I wondered about something. Why did he go through all that trouble to ride just a merry-go-round? I wanted to understand Yunho, but I couldn't easily nod my head. Was it just because I like merry-go-rounds? I don't understand the way Yunho reacts to everything I say. I feel sorry, but I'm worried at the same time. Huh? Is it... 
Oh, it must be raining. I thought I'd stop in the- I thought it'd stop in the afternoon. The weather report must have been wrong. It must be raining really hard for it to make that much noise. Tay said, worrying. That moment I remembered Yunho was left in the classroom. I checked my phone again. Um... Master, I'm writing the daily log. You must be studying. Master, I should have gone with you. Master, I miss you. Jesus. The last text came about 30 minutes ago. Is he still in the classroom? There was no way to know. It's raining a lot. Do you have an umbrella? Yuno said he'll share one with you this morning. Oh, come to think of it, I brought Yunho's umbrella. Did Yunho go home? I don't know, he had cleaning duties today. He might have gone back. I think he'd be done cleaning by now. I'll call him then. All right. Tay smiled and went back to the counter. I went back to the seat and immediately called Yunho. It's dialing, but Yunho's not taking the call. What's going on? I suddenly felt nervous. What do I do? Oh, shoot. Uh. Well, I am actually going to leave it at a suspenseful at a suspenseful moment. So we'll just have to see what I choose next episode. Ha ha! Cliffhangers! Though it's more because I just don't know what to choose. So we'll figure it out next time. Alright? And hopefully Yunho will stop being an obsessive little brat and hopefully things will just settle and like it won't be fucking creepy anymore. That'd be nice. That'd be, that'd be lovely. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Later!